Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 21 in my Anno 1800 Let's Play. Now in the last episode, we set up our first commuter pier in order to establish an island dedicated entirely to production. And with the basics now set up and oil coming in, we can finally start funneling in all the construction material we're gonna need to then set up all the exports back out and supply swords in the New World and any other islands that need stuff. Now, this is a bit of a transitionary period for us. I'm expecting to run a deficit every now and then, and I'm expecting for, you know, certain goods not to be met uh, for the engineers or the artisans and subsequently workforce to kind of plummet down until we solve the situation. It's not going to be a perfect transition, but I'm going to do my best to make it as seamless as possible. I've got a special visitor over at Crown Falls. I'll take him. A banker. I think we already have one. Now, like I said, one of the first things I want to do is start bringing in all that construction material. So let's just, instead of manually going back and forth, we'll just set up a route to do it, albeit a little bit temporarily. I'm going to grab the clay, wood, and steel beams and just unload it all here at Lusk. We're going to sign the Augustus to do that, and we'll just call it Old World Lusk Import. <laughs> I wrote Imporn. All right. And that ship will go off and do its thing and uh, start bringing the construction material that we're going to need. Now, the other thing I want to do is... Hello. Earthly Paradise. We are as joyful as we can po be, as we can possibly be. The hysterical people squeal as they dance in the euphoric streets of Crown Falls. If there is indeed a secret recipe for happiness, our fair city must contain all of the necessary ingredients. But um, there is bankruptcy looming, of course. So that's a reduction in riot chance, but a slight happiness. Um, what's the word? Negative? Debuff? I suppose. Alright, we got some extra construction material here. So, uh, I've actually caught the comments of the last episode just before doing this one. And, um, I can see a lot of people are worried that this is a very vulnerable island. Moving all your production here is going to be a little risky. And should Margaret get the opportunity to go to war with us, this is a prime candidate to take this out and destroy our entire game. So it's... A little bit vulnerable. Um, we'll certainly put down some defenses and things like that soon. We have like 400 guns over at Swords, uh, but we're actually on zero influence right now, so we really don't have the room to do that influence wise. We have to grow our population. And my idea for growing the population, hopefully in this episode, we'll see how it goes, is to do it out here. Obviously in Crown Falls, we've got lots of room for expansion. We want to go with the artisans over on our three little islands here. And we're actually full up with everything we have right now. We fully met the demands of everybody. We're totally fine. We can totally upgrade these guys and push them out and get some new artisans and things like that and leave some gaps the way we've been doing it before, basically. I'll have to lay it out first, though, and then actually decide where we're going to move things. But for now, that's the, that's the kind of idea. Um, right, so we had already set up the basics of where we're going to place things. Um in the last episode. It's not perfect though. I'm going to actually redo it. And the reason for that is, is that at the center here, we have a trade union. And rather silly, rather sillily of me, rather stupidly of me, I decided to, you know, have fire stations here, have supply warehouses here. Obviously, thinking about it, this should be, oops, this should be out of that ring. These should be out of that ring. The only thing you want inside this ring is production buildings, right? So that's what I'm going to try and do, optimize even further, and then um, we'll start specializing areas. This will probably be just iron, really, and maybe a bit of smelting, and the brass smelters and things like that. And then we can get those items that are going to really reduce the workforce and make it go pretty well for us. What's happening here? We can see that our visitors are plummeting in um, Cape Trelawney for some reason. Oh, we've probably run out of something else as well, but it's fine. It's interesting, actually, we have only one household for investors, and they're making, us fi they're making 500. Wow, yeah, 500. 42 investors make 500. That's crazy. All the shepherds we have in Anbessa only make 500. They make as much as this one household. Which, I, you know what? I guess that's probably quite accurate. I don't know. Um, there's hundreds of them. And there's 42 investors. Big money. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Uh, so what I'm going to do is basically go into a time lapse and try to best put this area together myself because... There's so much to do. We gotta move the entire... Here's my plan. My plan is to move the entire pig industry out here, somewhere over there. We want to have all the sand and glass production. We want to be making pocket watches. Pretty much everything that has a hand in metallurgy or has 
a negative connotation to pollution or vulgarity. So obviously, if we go back to swords just really quickly, last time, and we have a look here, vulgarity is from the pig farm, soap factory, slaughterhouse, pollution from all of this stuff. No instability, I guess. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so we actually largely... I'm just trying to think, could we get rid of power? I don't know if we could quite get rid of power. Obviously, it's powering this area here. And actually, someone pointed out to me that I blocked this area in. Power has not been reaching the full St. James's Gate in a long time. So let's just fix that. That basically fixes it. Reaching almost every building. Oh, it's horrible <laughs> the way I've done that, but whatever. Gets us a little further in there. But yeah, since putting down that fuel station... Uh, I kind of made a mistake with that. But that's good enough for now. That's good enough for now. We'll probably end up moving that over or something. Because this whole area is going to go. And it's going to create a lot of Lebensraum for us. For those who know third, third year of history. That means living space in German. <laughs> I think. Anyways. Uh, right. So, let's, so that's pretty much. You know the deal. You know the drill. Let's get actually just queue up one last ship here. As well. Ah, we've no influence, of course. So we can't even get new ships. We can't do anything without more influence. The only way we get more influence is either destroying uh, trade unions. In fact, we do need to get rid of those items. Boom. Destroy trade unions or... Um, yeah, increase our population. I think I already said that. Sorry. Anyways, let's begin with this time lapse. And uh, it's probably going to take me a while. So hopefully I don't get too distracted with different things. Uh, so yeah, so let's begin. Goodbye, Santa. Thanks for the Christmas. Oh my god. He's going straight up. Oh shit. <laughs> Alrighty, so the first thing to do was just to clear the area from anything that wasn't a production building of the trade unions, right? So the fire stations and the supply warehouses are kind of going on the outskirts, and then I was designating each trade union to have their own sort of workforce. So at least that way, that if we get some items that can double up on affecting artisans, this area is perfect, right? It's got a cannery, it's got the artisanal kitchen, the fur dealers, and the sewing machines. Now, later on, we might be able to separate that out further when we get more influence, but for now, this would be the best way to kind of ease up on the artisans, and then building a, another one that's just for the engineers. So up here, it's the light bulb factory, the pocket watches, the spectacles, the penny farthings, that's all kind of done in the same area as well. Uh, so hopefully with the trade unions built, that'll ease up on the engineers, though we do have quite a lot of them right now. We were in a bit of combat, it was a, a quest for Margaret to defeat three ships, I only sent two out there, I nearly lost my royal ship of the line, it's actually quite a close little battle, um, but managed to pull it out of the bag just, just in time. Uh, so down here towards the actual oil harbour, I realised that I wanted to get um, uh, basically an industry setup for the pigs, right? Now, pigs are complicated. They come with both, obviously, the pig farms, which can use silos to get improvements, but then also the rendering works, soap factory, and slaughterhouse, but they can actually be powered. So I set up a second uh, railway line there, and you can see it has multiple junctions, and that's going to allow multiple trains to go along the same route, and then also, if we have to split off perpendicular to that train line, we can go up to these, like, maybe the mountain here where there's two bits of ore that we could get and power them as well. Hopefully that'll work out. It's... I think it's done right anyway. So up here, we've got the actual pig farms. We want to keep them away from the power, right? We don't need power to come up to this area, so it's just the silos. We're going to have to ship in grain. Also, I noticed in the New World, our awesome Pyphorian warships, and that's a bigger version of the, like, the little monitor we have. It's a totally unique ship, actually. It's not a, a monitor or a battle cruiser. It's its own thing. I was setting up some basic wood production for the sewing machines there, deleting all of the old pig industry. That can all go away and free up our workforce so they can come out to the new island. And obviously this is now all powered. We didn't have it powered before. Uh, so that means that we're going to be getting twice as much as everything. And with the, um, what do you call it? And with the silos, we're just getting so much out of them. It should be really, really powerful. Alrighty, so that was quite the long ordeal. In fact, that actually took about 40 to 50 minutes. Uh, way longer than I thought. So if this episode ends up being a bit short, apologies in advance, I have no idea really how short it's going to condense down to, so I'll just have to wing it in terms of, of length of the video. Uh, so basically what it all comes down to is we've got two little main production areas here and then another one kind of up here. 
and then another one here. So four in total, two are covered by trade unions, and what it all amounts to is two routes that are being output. The main one, the first one, sorry, is Lusk to Swords. Uh, we're sending off sausages, soap, and canned food. And then the next one is uh, a bit of everything of the higher tiers. So sewing machines, fur coats, uh, spectacles, penny farthings, pocket watches, and light bulbs. So all of that production that used to be on swords is now here, and they're coming out from just two routes. And if we need to increase the volume a bit, we could make more smaller routes, like maybe something would want to deal more with sewing machines, or perhaps we could just add more ships to it. So for now, it's looking pretty good. Now, just in the meantime, really quickly, I want to get over here. We've got a quest called Burial at Sea. The ship of a royal ally was attacked during the night by a mysterious foe. Margaret Hunt has requested you salvage the remains... Shh. And, shh, and deliver them to her so she can start the funeral arrangements. Right, so I just thought it was an interesting one because it's kind of filtering into her overarching story. So we've basically gone and picked it up. Um, as I'm sure, hopefully, I talked about in the time lapse, or I will talk about, is the fact that this ship, I loaded it up with pocket watches that I bought from Margaret and just sold them out here. Made an absolute killing. She, she sells pocket watches for about half the price that Archibald does. So we can gain back, I think, five times the cost selling them here. It's a bit ridiculous. Although she's not, it doesn't, it's not an unlimited amount from her at least. Um, so let's just drop this stuff off here. So we just picked up some wreckage. Nice, so we have map of Isabel Sarmento's emergency vault. A unique map, a unique map marking a vault of contingencies for Isabel's rebels. If there's anything down there, it'll surely be of high value. Now, I don't know if you guys just heard that a second ago, or if it's just me, but the audio just cut out and then came back in of the game. I actually quit the game and came back into it, because I think my PC is like overheating or something. Because I was playing for a very long time, I'm recording obviously as well. Uh, and I had like, you know, an hour long footage file, hour long audio file. I feel like um, my PC might be... I'll be on his last legs or something, because I do use it constantly for the last five years. It's kind of an older PC now, I guess. So, hopefully the video file is not corrupt, but it'll be interesting to see if that audio did cut out for you. Uh, anyways, let's just send this over to Cape Trelawney. We're going to link up... Actually, no. Go to the go to the New World. We're going to meet at Port of Anus. Wait, no, hang on. I'm being, I'm, I'm being stupid. You don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> just activate this, yeah? Right, so that's in the new world. You can just go back to the old world. I'm happy for you to go back there. And then the diving bell will send to the new world right away, just in case I forget to. Uh, so... Oh, it's Clipper isn't here. Weirdly enough. Yeah, let's just drop that in. Okay. So that's dropped in, that's all good. Uh, this is just gonna have to come up, drop its stuff in here, and then we'll send it to the new world. And yeah, I thought I had a clipper ship following it. Maybe it was this one, don't know. I'm just gonna transfer some of this stuff over here. I don't know why I'm holding on to work clothes. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. Let's just, uh, I'll keep the scrap though, you never know. All right. Cool. All right, so they'll stay busy for a moment. Now, we're in a massive 10k deficit. It's kind of part of the plan, though. All right, uh, sort of. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go that negative, but I haven't actually deleted the buildings yet, right? And a lot of them are just paused, which means that the maintenance cost is half of what it normally is. Some of them are quite low, some of them are a bit higher. Uh, I think the maximum might be about 500, yeah. So I'm, uh, I imagine getting rid of a lot of these will free up a lot of our income. So let's see how much we can get back. It's stable. As, like, as we can see, we are delivering our goods, everyone's fine. We actually did run out of fur coats for a second, but came back, so... The new supply line is in effect, and we'll have to see how it holds up. I didn't actually check the statistics screen, I'm kind of winging it. Um, which is a bit crazy for some people, but we'll see how it goes. Oh man, all my hard work in here, gone. Yeah, the audio just cut out again. I'm really nervous about that. I'm really nervous about that. This might have to be a weirdly short episode or something. Oh, my cat's come in as well. Alright. Um, 
delete these, delete these. Alright, so we've just given ourselves five grand back. In a way, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice and peaceful doing this in the evening. Cleaning up some of these old, old builds. And this is going to give us a lot of room. In fact, actually, I forgot to mention, I took a quest. Oh, yeah, we failed it. I took a quest to build the World's Fair. I probably did mention this. Um, but because I was in such dire need of construction material in the other place, I didn't actually do anything with it. So I didn't actually get it built. But we can maybe look to do that soon. I don't know if I'm going to go with it there or not. I like the idea of maybe having it somewhere out here as a transition between the two uh, parts of the town. I don't actually know what... It, it's giving me a coverage symbol here. I don't actually know what... Does it just reach the whole island? Does it? It seems to... Pretty much. Yeah, I didn't actually know it gives you any kind of benefit to reaching the rest of the islands. Anyway, I'm thinking of putting it either out there or tucking it in somewhere here. If we remove maybe one day we get rid of that clay pit or something. That way the artisans could look down on it. That could look quite cool. Uh, but I'm not really too sure, so... Just have to leave it where it is for now. Uh, right, so let's just get rid of the rest of these buildings. See you later. That's going to save us a bunch. Now, the interesting thing is we've actually got this power out here, which is almost redundant in a way. I mean, we're boosting St. James's Gate. In fact, some of this is paused when it doesn't really need to be. But yeah, that saved us a, a bunch of money, although it's getting a bit worse. So what's going on? Engineers is dropping. So what are we lacking? This is what we're going to have to kind of test out and see. Fur coats yet again. So I'll check the production now. It's the first time I'll actually be checking this. Yeah, see, that opened up very slowly. I'm a little worried about this uh, game destabilizing on me right now. So Lusk, let's check the consumer goods. Fur coats. So we are definitely producing more fur coats than we need. But as we can see... It's not always active. When it goes dark like that, there's uh, something something wrong with it. Or when it, one of them's not active for some reason. So that's a problem. So let's check our trade route and just see really quickly. Might have to name this a bit better. Sword supply. So this should be picking up, um, is it, it's supply number two. So this should be picking up fur coats. Yeah, there we go. 50 fur coats on the way. So let's see how many we've got. 38. I'm just thinking, do we need two ships, you know, in rotation? Let's try it. Excuse me. God, I just burped at the same time. Let's try it. Um, the, 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 the Pharaoh. Yeah. Let's add that onto the route. That's nice, because that's actually up here, and they're going to be in rotation, which is good. Now, I've noticed as well, I built three piers, but everyone keeps using this one, just waiting behind it, which is pretty annoying. Let's brighten the day up. Also, I forgot, didn't I? Let's go. Off to the new world with ye. And this guy will go with them. Alright, cool. So let's have a look at what's going on. Missing goods. Iron ore. So, we have an iron ore route. We are picking up loads of iron ore from swords. Picking it up from rush. Picking it up from scaries and then dumping it all at Lusk. Where is this ship? It is just about to arrive. Now that should last us quite a long time. I'm hoping that we don't need two ships on that route. Though maybe we do. It's the kind of thing we have to experiment with. I feel like it's going to move these guys out of the way. Yeah, so that ore will activate all of these buildings again. We'll see how that goes. So, fur-wise, how are we doing? It seems like we're not actually delivering that much fur. So maybe I can do something to improve that. We make fur on Rush. But it feels like, for whatever reason, we're just not getting as much as we could be. Let's try that there. I mean, it barely takes any amount of people at all to do this. Just smash these down everywhere, really. Right, that's a lot of fur. But we, that should be good. With all of that extra fur... Damn, man. Music keeps cutting out on me. 
with all of that extra fur anyway, um, that should sort out that for a while. Now we're using the costume designer, so of course that means that we don't need cotton fabric, we're just instead processing wool. So I'm just going to check against that as well. So agricultural products, wool, 15, the demand is 12. Excellent. So more than we need, more than we need. And we're using the bright harvest. Oh yeah, we haven't actually finished building all those yet. The silos are still just, I'm just ever short of bricks. That's like what I was constantly short of here. <clears throat> uh, so let's just grab a bunch more. There's no deposit on that island, so you can't produce it locally. You have to bring some in. Is there anyone up at Archibald right now? No. I'll just get an idle construction ship to come up here. Or, um, sorry. What do you call it? Uh, cargo ship. Forgot to mention. Picked up this bad boy. Look at this. Perforian warship. It looks like it's got a massive AT gun or something. Or, a sorry, AA gun on the back. It's got a huge flamethrower on the front. And it's got six little guns on the sides. Each side. It looks so cool. Bought it from Jean Lafortune. So I've got quite the collection of ships now. Feeling pretty good. Now, did we finish that quest for Margaret? Yeah, we did. We got the thing. God, I'm an idiot. Alright, cool. Get me the hell out of Ambessa. Some of these ships we might retire now and get better. Yeah, they keep doing this. Look at this. There's three free piers over here. Why don't they use that? Obviously, it'd be quicker to just... Redirect. It's like I have to stop them and tell them to go back on the route. Maybe I only have to do it once now that the piers are there or something. I don't know. They'll figure themselves out. But I've been noticing that just throughout uh, throughout the building process that they just weren't separating out yet and just queuing up behind each other. Now, ultimately, I could just move that over there. And that way they'd all be in the same place. Your ship has returned from its point. Interesting. Look, at the, he's after turning around before actually hitting it. It's like they're still deciding which one's the fastest to get to. Very weird. Yeah, it's like they'd rather queue than go around there. I don't know why, though. How weird is that? Look, he just joined the queue again. Oh, that's strange. If anyone knows what's going on there, let me know in the comments and what I can do about it. The best thing I can think of is just moving the harbor over, and that way they're all next to each other. I kind of like the idea of being able to dump something here, though, if I want to. And this ship's taking forever. Yeah, I, I guess you guys let me know in the comments. That's a really important one. If anyone knows how I can help address that. For now, I will just move this over here. And hopefully, that kind of solves it. Maybe it's just other too many other ships prioritize using this already? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Well, that's interesting to know that I can actually build a road across two uh, railways like that. I didn't actually think about that. But that looks like it's worked out just fine. Alright, so at least now they're all like, oh yeah, let me come over there. That money's getting a lot better. I love to see it. Good to see. Good to see. Still not as good as... So we started this episode at negative 300 or at negative 4,500. I don't really know what. There's not that many extra buildings. I mean, there's... A, oh yeah, I meant to build a second smelt, uh, brass smelter as well. Because spectacles, yeah, we're short on brass. Goddamn. Need more bricks, though. That's what I like to see. They're all queuing up. We can build quite a lot more of these. I counted it out. There's roughly about 13 spots for having piers all along this side. So, And we can even put it at the front of the quartz sand mines. So it should be good. There they go. At least they're operating a bit more efficiently now. There are ruins in my cities. Ah, our oil exploded. It's alright, we're all fixed. I've made sure they have a lot of concrete here. Let's see how much left. Ooh, not much left. That's, um... Next explosion won't be... Or the one after the next explosion won't be able to repair them, actually. Help the old man with a hat. My cousin Pablo lost his home to the flames. They have nowhere to stay. If you could only build a new house for them, our entire familia would be forever grateful, boss. What do you want me to build? An extra house? A Yornalero residence. Some people are like, oh, it's not Yornalero. Well, it is now. So, deal with it. There we go. It's his new house. Hey, give me a condor. Does uh, Jean have anything left for me? Oh, he's got another one. Oh, I, ha I feel like I have to buy it. 
<laughs> I had to do it. All right, let's do this quest while we're here. They captured one of ours during a foray. She's been taken to the prison as we speak. Bleakworth will never, well, sorry, Bleakworth will have her head the moment she steps on his rock. We must free her. What does she do though? <laughs> like she murdered someone. One of his band was captured and he fears for her life. Hmm. Destroy this schooner. I'm gonna send my entire war fleet after it. Keep them on individual. There's actually lots of quests for us to do. We've got another resident quest. We have fought long and hard to be rid of the tyranny. Now is the time for democracy. We need to elect our own representatives, and they can only work from a town hall. You want me to build you a town hall? Are you mad? I actually don't think I can do it. I mean, I could do it and then delete it. Uh, the reason I'm hesitant, obviously, is just because of the influence cost. How much is the influence cost? 20 influence. I actually can't build it. No democracy for you. Not today. Let's see our part Pyrphorian ship in action. And I'm still waiting on the diving bell ship to get here too. Looks like we're not going to see it in action. Yeah, the audio is cutting out for you, isn't it? Yeah, this... It looks like the recording is okay though from my end, so I'll have to... I'll probably just wrap this one up after we find the, um... After we find the treasure. Where are those ships? There. Oh, I'm going completely the wrong way. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, let's just pick that up. Let's get our diving bell. So let's see. Well, is our, our radar is active. Can we see um, where it is yet? So, quest book. Let's see. This is the map. We're looking for that kind of island there. It's like a, I don't know, arrow top in a way. Uh, it's the southernmost island, it looks like. There it is, right there. Excellent. Map of Isabel Sarmento's emergency vault. Does it say anything about it? Nope. How are we doing? Let's just double check back on our supply again one more time. That's the, the bricks have arrived, have they? Yeah. Oh, of course our pier is on the other side now. Once those bricks are in, we're gonna build that smelter. That should fix a lot of stuff as well. Oh, we can build it right now. That should fix a lot of stuff in terms of the pocket watches and things like that. Um, don't know if I need another artisanal kitchen just yet. So, let's click swords. We have Lusk on as well. And let's go to consumer goods and see how we're doing. So, fish is fine. Schnapps would be fine. Work clothes. I actually have no idea why that's where I built my work clothes. Oh, we built it on Rush, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. All right, sausages are coming from here, Lusk, so that's good. So we're making eight to five consumption. The audio is just completely cutting out now, almost all the time. I'm really worried. I'm going to have to end this one. <laughs> it's, it's, I keep saying that. Bread's fine. Soap is okay. Beer is good. Canned food's good. Sewing machine's fine. Even fur is okay. Glasses are way better than normal. Pocket watches, yep, it's all good, right? We're all fine, and coffee's coming in externally. So I think this is done. I think I've set it up correctly. It was qu really quite the upheaval, and it's it hasn't turned out to be financially beneficial anyway. It's been a bit of a detriment, if anything. But I'll look into it. I'll look into why that is. I don't really know. I'm guessing because I've built a couple extra buildings, but even so, it seems to be two or three grand higher than I expected in terms of that maintenance cost. Uh, there's some things we can still get rid of and get rid of that. Let's uh, get rid of these. Let's say goodbye to our little factories down here. Alright, 
and really just cutting those costs now. Uh, but this means that pollution is a little bit better. Vulgarity, we actually completely got rid of. Pollution is just 5 and 20. So the oil, we're probably always going to have the oil. But the small amount of uh, charcoal kiln, that's fine. We can leave that there for now as well. Full output of beer. We've got a beer festival going on right now. Productivity's increased. Workforce is reduced. Happiness increased. Needs provided. Uh, well, really what we could do then is just start shipping a lot of beer out to the pirates. And just get rid of it. We don't need it. Got another quest here and another ship to buy. Don't have the time. Let's dive. Let's see what we get. And then I think in the next episode, I know I said that before, we can finally focus on... That was it. A huge alcohol crate. <laughs> that was Isabella Sarmento's big, you know, hidden away treasure. Brilliant. Okay. With all our legendary items, I'm really disappointed. And that was a legendary map. That was shit. <laughs> I don't swear very often to this, but that was garbage. <laughs> Um, delivered to his defiant clipper. Oh, right, yeah, we picked that up. The prisoner. Damn. All right. Sorry I didn't uh, let this catch up and get, uh, see the combat. Okay, I'm just, I'm a bit of a, at a loss for what to do now. So now that we're sorted out, furs should be coming in a bit better. That's the last thing I just kind of want to track here. So let's just double check. Furs, there they are, loaded up on furs. Where the F are you right now? What island is this? Oh, that's Lusk, right? Jeez, I'm just so confused. My, I'll be honest, my cat's blocking the radar. I can't see it, so. <laughs> Rosie let her in and she's like licking her leg or whatever. <laughs> and I can't see the radar. She's super cute. So I don't mind. That's how she gets away with it. Alright, so that's finally the last thing. That's the fur. I don't understand. I saw the iron ore not that long ago. Where is it? It's here now. Okay, good. Yeah, this, this might need two ships on the route. Audio is just completely cut out. I think that might be it. PC's giving up. It's due for a clean. It's getting a bit dusty. It might be just getting a bit hot. Yeah, wow. The audio is completely gone. Okay. Just drop it off. That's all I wanted to see. I'm going to speed it up for a second. And there we go. We can see the different factories are getting their stuff now. Nice. So the other thing is I've got the rever reverberatory furnace here. So productivity is 50% increased as well. It's just like burning through all this stuff. So I can see why with the amount of factories that we have, the amount of steel production that we're throwing out there, even though all those factories went offline, we're at 83 steel just sitting there. So we're obviously producing way more than we need to. Um, so that's good. Right, I, I don't know how long this episode is going to be. It's probably all over the place, but I'm just going to leave it there. Um, but that is our full move to Lusk done. I'm going to see if I can sort out the PC issues, and then we'll be back in the next episode. Where we're going to go to uh, Crown Falls to try and really improve the population get our influence up as well all right thank you guys very much for watching hope everyone had a happy new year as well and uh, a good christmas i keep saying these at the end of episodes i really want to catch people in the beginning and say that uh but anyway thank you for all the support that has uh that you guys have provided me with in november and december really do appreciate it all right so that's going to be the end of this episode and i'll see you in the next one Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.